tell us how tough has it been for for Josh the last couple of weeks in terms of him, you know, trying to make the throws he did the first couple of weeks. I can't comment on the quarterback position, but this was definitely a team loss that we had today. This is, we weren't firing on any, any cylinders on any of our three uh, teams. We need to work together and play better complementary football in all three phases. How tough is it when you have a game like this, sell out crowd, national TV, and you fall behind quickly? Uh, and then you're in scramble. Though. Yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult. I mean, but through all of our training, we know what it feels like to get punched in the face. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to face adversity and try to come back from it. And today, we just weren't able to rebound. Uh, the crowd today was incredible. Um, to the 11,000 students that came out today, like we appreciate the support, and that was incredible. And we, we love the support they've shown for this team. We apologize for, the, for our performance today. The Jackers Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA. Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. Penn State do anything different up front than you expected? No, we just didn't execute. In, in terms of, I mean, you guys have had some injuries on the offensive line. Marcus went out tonight, obviously losing losing uh, uh, Dave T Terrence last week um, or a couple weeks ago. How how difficult, given how young some of the guys are on on the line right now? Yeah, we do have a, we have a, lot, a few inexperienced guys, guys moving around, but uh, with the way we practice and the amount of reps we get, you, when you go in, you're expected to execute, and there's there's no there's no uh, excuses for it. And we, we're going to work on it. We're going to get better, especially in the line room. I can promise that, that we're going to worked and, and get ready for next week. The pressure they were able to get up front, what what sort of things did they do? What, what were they able to take advantage of tonight? Uh, they moved a good bit. Uh, they, definitely, they definitely twisted a lot, which when we're mixing pieces in and out, it's probably a little difficult for us to handle. But, you know, like I said, we're going we're to watch the film, figure out what, what they did to, to uh, to get to get home and we're gonna work on it. The field side blitz like it brought a lot of pressure, especially number six. It seemed really hard to see. Mm -hmm. uh, did you see him creeping up pre snap Yeah, we gotta for uh, on field blitzes it's kinda a little bit easier to see there's a lot of guys over there and you gotta see the different indicators, whether it's the deep safety, whether it's the way the D line lined up. So that's something that we had worked on throughout the week is definitely just trying to be able to see when that was coming and perhaps we just didn't execute this no, tonight. From a discipline and kind of penalty standpoint, the first two games of the year seem to be pretty good in that regard. Mm -hmm. The last two have had some issues. What, what do you think is the key um, to yeah. getting that back on yeah, As a team, that's probably the most disappointing part of this game is that how we beat ourselves in the first half. We did. There, there were a few things that they did, and this, we, we were moving the ball. I mean, so we, we did, we, like I said, we beat ourselves, and that's something that we're going to have to figure out as a team. How do we get more discipline? How do we not beat ourselves early in games to give us ourselves a shot? How, how hard is it? As, as, as a group to put this game behind you and, 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 and having gone through you know a couple of similar mm -hmm. situations the last couple of years as, as one of the leaders of the team, how, what will you tell you, these guys? The key to getting past the game like this is when we have big wins, is treating it the same way. So we have 24 hours to, to get through the game, watch the film, put it to bed, and get ready for the next team. So whether we have a big win or a big loss, we have to keep it uh, treated the same way the next day. Is it harder to do? It's difficult, of course. It's always difficult coming off a loss, but we have to refocus and, and reset and get ready for for Rutgers next week. What was coach's message? At, oh, sorry. Uh, what was uh, coach's message at halftime, and how do you think the team responded to that? At halftime, it was just we had to keep fighting. Don't look at the scoreboard. Win one play at a time. Swing, swing a punch at one, one, one punch at a time. One play at a time, and, and try to try to take it, take it like that. You can't can't score thirty eight points at once. So. Coach Lux has said there may be a, a lack of confidence in the offense right now. How does an offense try to get that back, that confidence back? Yeah, it's just it's just belief in what you're doing and, and confidence, and, and, and you gain confidence through reps at practice. And you know, through the first two weeks, it seemed like we had that. Um, it has dropped off over these last three weeks, but this week of practice is definitely something we have to focus on and get, getting a little bit of swagger back that we had on offense. Where did the confidence go? Was it early miscues that kind of led that, or was it maybe Temple last week? Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I wish I could tell you. Um, that's something that we're going to have to watch the film and see what happened and see, see how when it started to derail and hopefully get it fixed. But you, but you do feel that? I mean, we didn't score any points, so I feel it a little bit.